Hello and welcome to Watching Baseball. My name's Jimmy. I've got Jake with me, and we are watching the 2016 National League Wild Card game between the San Francisco Giants, your reigning champions at the time, and the New York Mets with a young, budding staff. No, 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 no. This is 2016. So the Mets are the reigning National League winners, and the Giants are about to win the World Series. Spoiler alert, and they won in 2014. Good matchup either way. Bumgarner versus Syndergaard. Fantastic game. Talking, talk, Watching baseball today is brought to you by Laughs from the Past. It's another podcast that Jake and I do. We're eight season in, in, and season six is all about baseball and wild stories of baseball's past. So go check out Laughs from the Past. Jake, we were just kind of browsing through the box score of this one and both kind of like, holy shit, what a game this one is. It's a, uh, as we say many times, it's a sick sport. Um, and yeah, I think what does make this special, um, I mean, is Bumgarner Cindergard, and they both shove. And I mean, how often in baseball, again, this sounds like a lame announcer line, but how often in baseball do you get that matchup, but uh, one guy doesn't have his plus stuff, or one guy gets knocked out in the fourth? Um, Syndergaard goes no hit through six mad bum. If you're watching this, you probably have an idea of what he does in big games. And, uh, yeah, man, you know, we, we were literally a second ago setting up to watch this clip and, oh, you know, we caught a highlight of runner on second line drive up the middle mad bum snags it to end the eighth. And it's just like, this is disgusting. Yeah. Uh, they, they both faced the minimum first through the, Three innings. So that we didn't have a fourth batter step to the plate until the fourth inning. Uh, and then and then they and then from then on there was pressure. A lot of innings. There's a runner on base, there was multiple, you know, stuff like that. But still no hits. We're going straight to the ninth because that's where all the action is. And Syndergaard is now out of the game. Top nine. Here we Giants go. Giants team that puts the ball in play against Wow, Booney on the call. Sinking okay. fastball. Very distinct voice Boone has, huh? With this Met infield, not a lot of range. It could be a ball in play that gets through. That could be the difference. Amelia, the Mets closer. What's the confidence at with him at this point? Uh, Higher than it's going to be. Eric Campbell stays in the game Um, at first base after batting for James Lone. So See, what kind of year do you have, Yuri? Two hits, struck out ten. Addison Reed got in and out of trouble in the twenty six beans. Is that what you said? Twenty sixteen, yeah. Fifty one saves Three led the National League. The field, oh, I'd say they're pretty confident in him then. Ball two, except for this guy, he's not nervous. Let's, let's see how he finished the year. This pump after the line drive, right back. Ah, <laughs> oh, Bumgarner just chilling there. Brandon yeah, Crawford. Amelia finished the year strong too, so we are we are high on him. You think Crawford wets his hair? You think that's just natural grease? Um. To left center field, it's going to get down and get all the way to the wall. And Crawford is on his way to second base with a leadoff double. It's a bad feeling. I think it's, it's a bad natural. feeling. Out the jump. It's Let's natural grease. Crawford does so well. That's a lot if it's natural down. grease. Yeah. He just does a nice job of keeping his hands down and through this pitch as it slowly keeps sinking down 96 miles per hour and drives it into the gap. It stays through the ball. And we haven't seen a lot of balls hit hard in this game. And Brandon Cuff. Yo, Ennis. Dude, I don't even like nice. think of him as a Met anymore. And, you know, if we had situation. baseball right now, he'd probably be playing for the Mets. Pagan, it's been it's so far removed from my brain. Too fine. You've got okay and I mean, speed out at second, but you don't like have a such an situation. impact player. You've got some inexperienced guys playing the corner positions, so don't worry about being too fine. Pagan, just scary. Bunt down. Squares pulls the bat back and he takes ball one. Well, that was a strike. That's exactly what you want to bunt. Bottom of the strike zone. Familia is probably tough to bunt, though. Balls, I mean, he throws one and a half pitches, and his one pitch zone. is that heavy fastball, Britain style. 
Yeah. I mean, that, that sucks because that was a strike. So he's probably upset. That's all. That's allowed. That one I think is a ball, but it's it's close enough to if you want to compound the two and be like you're not giving me anything, I'll allow it. Throwing. That one was a ball. Pen. Madison Bumgarner might be the only starting pitcher in the baseball. I did not know the first pitch was called a ball. Granted, that's the Giants have not had right. issues in the ninth inning. Sergio you didn't. Oh, wait, hold on. You didn't. Yeah. Know that. Correct. Yeah, the ump called it a ball. Yeah, that's why I was yeah, like, that's, that's a mistake. Sucks. Yeah. Recently, he's four for four since he got. The I thought you were mad at Pagan for not bunting. Him. No. Bunted foul. Bumgarner's at a hundred and six pitches. Should be one and two right. Heading to the ninth inning, and Bruce Bochy shows no sign of wanting anybody other than Madison Bumgarner on the mound. The the is this the year when Bumgarner threw 50 Maybe in a good way there. playoff innings? Uh, 2016. I don't think so. I thought that was 2014, but I could might have been. That's telling you maybe he's got a lot of trust in his ability to just. I think it was 14, because that's when they beat the Royals, right? Up, which I yeah, and he was. Here. He was an insane person. Let me see. Yeah, 26. Yeah, 2014 is the crazy one. Second, Crawford, two and one. The count on Pagan. Squares they again. lost in 2016. Takes it low, ball three. On deck, Joe Panic. Joe Panic. Nobody out, and the Giants threatening here at the top of the ninth. New York kid. I still think they'll have the bunt on in this situation, even in this good. Hit three one. Game. Would and you again, still have the bunt on, Jake? Have to be too fine with it. Should be two two. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I look at the too. game. Look at the game you've just endured. Foul ball. Pagan. What the hell? Long play by him. He's wanted to swing this whole time. Classic. Getting too cute with it, you know? A little too eager to run out of the box. Just getting too cute. Just put it in play. Yeah, man. he went for a bunt hit there. Because he wants to swing. You're Which right. Which part of me respects. They're still in on the Depends on what happens with this pitch. Swing and a miss to get him one down. I know the Giants come through to do good things, but that's just a bad showing by Pagan there. He wanted to swing. We've seen him all night. Really go after Pagan. No other excuse. Ball. High velocity here. Familia challenges him up in the strike zone. Usually Familia, you know, he just bores that heavy sinker in, but knowing Pagan's having a hard time catching up with good fastballs, they challenge him up in the strike zone and will blow it right past him. Thanks, Aaron. Pagan frustrated at his inability to execute. Now it'll be panic. Go for three. To the Pagan point. Pagan wets his hair. Second one down. Trying to be Crawford. Joe Panic. It's a cool name. Oh, I disagree. And you don't like the name Joe Panic? It's alarming. As Sergio Romo. Oh, Sergio Romo. Closer Our guy. My Jewish guy. Once again, now the closer, Santiago Casilla. At a very haircut buddies blew a number of saves Romo after this is still the same haircut you know of different combinations that's David the last Jackson haircut you got is in spring training in February yeah. really the last two weeks of the yeah. season Romo that's a long time throw. it's pretty long do you feel like you need another one are you itching for a haircut I could use one I, I normally yeah, let it go there. pretty long nice play to the backstop it's a really tough chance here. That sinking fastball, very difficult to get your body in front of it. Your only chance is to really backhand and hope you can stop. I don't know, a nice play. It's nice that that worked out. It's not it the best of form, him. but you just got to no, do whatever you got to do. That Crawford can't get the third now with less it's nice rounds, when it works. If they're yeah. able to retire panic here. What's this? I thought his chest protector was naturally dirty, but it looks like that's the design, and I don't like that. Of the Giants. Which is why Romo's Fair. up. Yep. In case Bumgarner's spot comes up this inning. Yeah. 
Out of play, two and one. You got to believe Bruce Bochy's first choice of pitchers is Bumgarner, but if they get to, say, a two on, two out situation, no score here. You saw Jared Parker's got a bat. It looks like they would pinch hit for Bumgarner as he tries to stay warm here for the time. I'm not line. respecting the moment enough, Jake. Romo biting his zero okay. zero score. Do or die game. Rush. This is. He's got time people's to stomachs are churning watching the this. First oh yeah. First. The two on to panic. Got to play again. Two strikes. Everyone stand up. Come on. Get up. Stand up. Something, something, something. Don't give up the fight. 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 Clickable. All right. For your right. Punch him. Give me a tight pitch here. When Familia wants to chat. What are you throwing? I mean, 2-2. Two, two, I, I'd try to I'd try to throw that heavy one, but keep it bottom of the zone. To the left of Cespedes, got all the way to the fence near the 358 mark. Crawford into I think he's telling the catcher, hey, I want to I want to spike this one. You need to block it. it. Oh, I like that. From the catcher's perspective, that's good. I'll block anything, bro. Yeah. Throw this in the third row. I'll catch it. I always liked Terry Collins. Like he would be high, be you did, him huh? Yeah. If it got to okay. Spot. The set. And the 2 2. And Panic stays alive. He wanted it down there. Joe Panic right now represents a, good a lot of what the Giants' offense is about. Not a ton of strikeouts. He does have two tonight, but he's a contact hitter. And in this two strike situation, he wastes a pitch. Just barely off the end of the bat, but you see how Jeez. he just slows his bat down. He's not trying to punk this anywhere far. He's just trying to make contact and keep this at bat going. Again, the two-two, up and in with a breaking ball and a full count. I mean, now what? I think the first slider we've. I seen mean, Familia throws his fastball. It's just where you're gonna put. Not a real good feel for that. I'd put it kind of lowish now, again. If you're panic, you can probably pretty much eliminate that. Knowing that's he swung at it last time and just barely fouled it. It's such a messed up pitch, man. Look for something on the plate. I'd go heavy zinc, lo low middle, heavy sink. Just, just roll it. Three two. Down and away, he walked him. Two men on, Good take. one out. Nice job, Joe. He did not job, Joe panic, panic. Finish up here writes the newspaper headlines. And That's where it's a terrible one. Highlights of the full breakdown of this game. A look at some NBA preseason action. NFL here comes Terry. One out. And Jared Park has come out of Such a crazy at-bat, dude, because... Bumgarner may or may not go back out to If Gillespie doesn't come through here, here Bumgarner doesn't pitch the ninth. So if you're a Mets fan, you're like, all right, get Gillespie out. They'll pinch hit for Bum. Get that guy out. And then Bum's out of the game for the bottom of the ninth. And you can spin yourself into a confident scenario. You just need to get Connor Gillespie out. And to be honest, no one really knows who he is at this point. The They're like, who? Why? Okay, this guy. Really Say his last name all. again. Pretty much a Gillespie. He proves he can throw it. S before the P, I think. Down and out over the plate. Gillespie. S B. Gillespie. Strike one. Yeah. I just looked him up to see if, like, he went on, and he had a good year with the White Sox. Perhaps off the but yeah, this was like I the end of his career. Gillespie running it over the plate. Yeah. Um, this is the highlight. Jarrett Parker, he had a good on base, but he hit 236. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. I mean, it's it's very easy knowing what Rivera. happens, but... And Connor Gillespie, not a huge now, threat, Ramirez. but to get a Mad Bum out of the game... Time. It's almost win-win. I guess you don't trust Familia's control. He just walked. Go ahead. Why are you yeah. saying they? You saying they should walk this dude? Base. 
with two yeah. good backhand stops. I don't know if you can sinkers. do that. It's, Gile it's Gillespie. One one. Right, so definitely. Well hit right field. Definitely can't Pushed have that happen. Turns, yeah. And it's gone. That would be my Tyler counter. I mean, now you now could you could have that happen with the next batter, and at least Mad Bum's done. It's true, but just get him out. He's, he wasn't a threat, you know, until he was. But it's crazy so because wasn't. now I I want to see the shot of Bum. I don't know if they show it when Bum Garner just grabs his glove and or he's got to grab his bat. It's like, I'm right, still in this thing. Getting an opportunity yeah. to play. We've seen nothing but quality at bats down the stretch. A base hit earlier, and he gets a pitch up in Launched. the strike zone that he can drive. And a huge blow to take the air out of this building. And Bumgarner hits now that they have a three run lead. Bumgarner Obviously, first pitch hit, swinging deep into the, the, the gap. 365 into the gap. It's like gone at Camden. The Giants are three outs away yeah, that is gone at Camden, huh? Yeah. Series after the dramatic pretty ridiculous. That Syndergaard just stunned. So stunned faces ah, same on word. The Mets side of the field. A brilliant outing by Syndergaard tonight, but is it all for naught after Familia surrenders the home run? It is. It is. It's a tough break. Gillespie, somewhat of an unlikely hero. Twenty-nine Father years time, Nard span up. After splitting last year with the Angels at Has a Sox. stolen base and a caught stealing it in this game. The man that was really with really the, really the lady, front right, after just left. She Nunez. gave him a kiss goodbye. He said, I'm not watching this shit. What yeah. A moment for him. But she stayed. I've seen, I've seen this happen before. True fan. She's like, I've well, maybe there's some magic that can happen. Honey, I'm going to stay. All right, I'll be in the car, breathing the exhaust. No. I, uh, I know what Mad Bum's about. We're good. Granderson and Rivera, three, four, five, will come up for the Mets. But this All these Mets fans kind of just laughing, like, huh, yep, yeah. Well, it's what you expect. The odds and all the injuries they had, and now suddenly they're hanging by their fingernails here. Span, what you I'm, doing, dude? I am hating his approach, man. Fry span? Yeah. That's weird. What's he doing? Like, shrinking the strike zone? <laughs> I mean, he must have had, like, the jitters or something, because, like... Did you hear that loud? You suck. No. What is he doing? Fly ball to left. Is that... Was that... Long that wasn't Span's Spanish. always approach, no. right? No. You know, I think the Mets or the Giants were quite certain Gillespie. that Gillespie could handle Gillespie. himself Gillespie. offensively from the left side against right-handed pitching. I think the question was how he was. Did he go on to like do anything pace. the rest of this postseason? They felt like the final week of the season. I don't know. They lost to the Cubs. Well this isn't one of the titles. That yeah, yeah. yeah. The Everyone thought it was going to be because it was an Every even other. number. But another big so that's kind of why at the beginning of this show I was confused. Sure that people have corrected me already, which is, I needed it. So that approach worked a little bit there. Baumgartner will enter the bottom of the ninth at 106 pitches. Gillespie, postseason, let's see. To walk on the beach, I mean, considering some of the things we've seen him do in the postseason. Yeah, dude, he had four hits in the final uh, extremely well. NLDS. And suddenly he and the You're Giants hot, baby. Away. Get hot at the right time. Getting on a plane and heading to Chicago. They were all singles. But he had six RBIs this this postseason in five games. I mean, Eight hits in five right games. There. Yeah. Kill Ennis. So who do the Mets have coming up? Like, Mets fans right now, they're like, all right, Bum's still in. We got Cespedes, Granderson, TJ Rivera. No, Jim. Again, Again put two. yourself in the moment. It's Madison Bumgarner. Ball to left field. Three World there. Series titles. Postseason monster. You're the Mets. The game ended. Out. 
The game's over. That's what you were giving that lady credit for staying. I'm giving credit to the guy for leaving. When you know what's already happening, get out of there. Yeah. No, she was still just like, you know, a little bit naive. You, know? you need some naivety. That's exactly. Cespedes just going to go deep, man. I give I give a fan you credit for watching Cespedes at bat because that's worth it. But uh, I mean, the game's October, been decided. You watch October, the Cespedes October, at bat as you're October, leaving. You watch. You think one of the Bum, I think Bumgarner and Cespedes have a pretty Madison, good respect for each other. I mean, they respect, both absolutely. Yeah, I mean, Cespedes works on the ranch up. during the season, uh, catching Rocks wild hogs and. You know, doing manly ranch stuff. Bumgarner, Mason Saunders, that's his stage name, and he does rodeos and has horses. You know, I think they got a lot in common. Maybe they don't even realize it. Someone should put them in touch. Oh, they know. They had a nice conversation. Okay. Both injuries doing stuff like that. You know, the, the was he on a quad? They're going to, if they hold on here, they're going to fly to Chicago against the best team in baseball with a lot of confidence and a pitching staff yep. that matches up pretty well with just about anyone. Say maybe Johnny Cueto on the mound in a game one. The rotation Ooh. also has, of course, Bumgarner, who wouldn't be It's a fun pitch, but he did not bring him up. What if one of those I think that was Curtis with 30 Chicago homers and 59 RBI. There in a game three scenario. Back in San Francisco. That doesn't seem to add up. Well, I'm thinking That's how what I thought we I just saw. Back in July, who are the two best teams in baseball at that moment? It was the Cubs and the Giants, and the Giants faltered since. Guy then. trying to sit next to Marlins, man, for the last and two outs. Rushers kicking him out. Team. Come on, let him just sit there. I think that's the. They know. They've been there and done. Curtis. That. So this is a team something sort of Grandish. With genuine confidence. Yeah, Curtis Granderson, 30 home runs, really uh, 59 RBI. RBI. It's a lot of solo shots. Get on base, the Mets. Down the left field line, but back out of play. Dun, dun, a lot dun. of fans have started heading for the exits. Most of them are still here, keeping the faith. Hoping now, after this out, Jake, way, always cracks me up. Back against How many are going to leave? And, like, out of principle, not watch the last out. Even though it makes no difference. You're not going to beat traffic, you know. I'm not watching this. People always want to tap out before it's over. It's a sense of pride among sports fans. And the biggest difference. Yeah, I don't know about the last out. Um, Again, I think the Mets fans, you should have known once Connor Gillespie got you, it was done. You're fine watching Yo-Yo. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a big Curtis six. Granderson got Each out, let's leave crowd. Two. If you're here now, you're here. Hasn't even given them the I think there's a lot of people that leave there not just because they don't want to witness the last out. Fly ball to left. Lots of room for Pagan. Two down. If you've stayed for the Granderson at bat, you want the full punishment. You want to see. Now you want to see you saw Mad Bum do the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, you went from a, Mad Bum, to, or you went from Mets fan to Mad Bum fan. TJ Rivera coming up. Yeah, as people are out. Place is silent. Bob Garner has given up just four hits tonight. He has walked two, one of them intentionally. Has struck out six on the verge. Bob Garner's stuff, shutout. man. Like, Again. it doesn't blow me away the way when you watch Verlander or Chris Sale or, you know, it's just... He just fucking does it. Yeah, I mean, he used to be able to pump it a little better before this point. I feel like he used to get mid-90s. Right now he's pumping 92. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of that slingshot, man. Two quick strikes. I look at the bat, though, from Joe Panic before Gillespie. Yeah, TJ Rivera wanted to be a nice guy to, to the city sure of New York. He just swing and miss no matter what this so is. Like if an we're being honest, swing and miss. TJR should not have brought a stick to the plate. Right center field. And the Giants win it. Behind the pitching of Madison Bumgarner and the ninth inning home run off the bat of Connor Gillespie. And know what we have here, Jim. We have a group of guys that know how to celebrate. 
He immediate the mound. Yeah. When Denard Span caught it, he points to Hunter Pence running around him. Like, that looked choreographed. They're not going to go crazy, you know. No. The, maybe the new guys, this is new, they'll go crazy a little bit, but Syndergaard can't believe it. And the, the performance that he does had does get completely forgotten. I forgot about it. Yeah. It, it changes, like, people's perceptive history about you. Yeah. He's nuts. They're happy, but a little bit like, Baumgartner's not even celebrating, man. And it's only the first Corey Gearin, your guy. Take. Oh, there's Dallas Braden. Bruce makes his way out. Did you see Hansen. Dallas? So Look great. We've been here before. Congratulating Bochy? They intend to take. Stud. So the Mets, I mean, this is the end of the Mets, Jake? Do the Mets make the postseason again? 2016 Mets. Eight, the Mets. Yeah, I don't think. 17, no. 18, no. This is the year, baby. Expanded playoffs. Yeah, dude. The next year they finished fourth, then they finished fourth again, then they finished third. So it was that three year stretch 14. No, it was just two years. That's nuts. It looked like such a big window for them. They would go to the World Series in 15, 16, they look good. They go to the, they lose this game, and then it, that's the end. Buster Posey, it's a little bit been there, done that. This is they got some good awards, though. Harvey, Alex. comeback player of the award. Jacob DeGrand wins rookie of the year. Two been. Cy Youngs. Alonzo, rookie of the year. R.A. Dickey, or uh, Cy Young. Mets got individual awards. They just don't got any good, good playoff stuff. Mm. So that's a bummer. But all right, that was that one. I mean, Bumgarner just dominates. And Gillespie, King Gillespie. Yeah, I mean, Connor Gillespie is a name that's a lot of bars around Queens. It's, it's said with a it's said with a question mark. It's said with a question mark. Connor Gillespie? That guy? Connor Gillespie? All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with us and watching. We'll be back on the next day that we post these. Goodbye.